And this morning, the head of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency is accusing Lance Armstrong of trying to bribe his organization and intimidating witnesses during the investigation that found Armstrong used performance-enhancing drugs. Well, in an interview with Scott Pelley for the new series 60 Minute Sports, Travis Tigert talked for the first time about the evidence of doping. Six samples that were taken from Lance Armstrong were retested in 05, and they were positive. In 99, when the tests were originally taken, was it reported that they were negative? There was no test for EPO. They were not tested for EPO at that time. And when you tested for them in 2005, you discovered that the All six were flaming positive. Flaming positive. Flaming positive. Tiger told us that throughout the investigation, witnesses were intimidated to try to keep the code of silence from breaking. Was Lance Armstrong personally involved in intimidating these other riders to keep them quiet? He was. It was tough. All, all these witnesses were, were scared of the repercussions of them simply telling the truth. What could Lance Armstrong do to them? Incinerate them. Here, ladies and gentlemen, Levi Leipheimer. Former teammate Levi Leipheimer felt the heat. In his sworn affidavit, he says he came to a cycling dinner after he testified to the grand jury. Leipheimer says Armstrong was there and sent Leipheimer's wife a text that read, run, don't walk. What did she take it to mean? It's a veiled threat. Knowing her husband had just testified truthfully in front of the grand jury and had told citizens of this country about this great fraud that it was a message. You better run. Your investigation showed that there were personal threats made against writers who had decided to come clean. I wonder if there were any threats against you. There were, Scott. These threats came from where? Emails, letters. Anonymous? Yeah. Can you remember any of the lines from the emails or the letters? Mm. The worst was probably putting a bullet in my head. Did you take that seriously? Absolutely. Turned it over to the FBI to investigate it, which they're doing. Tigart believes that Armstrong had undue influence over the International Cycling Union. Lance Armstrong made a generous donation to the International Cycling Union of $100,000. Do you think that was meant to influence them? I don't know. Obviously totally inappropriate. Why inappropriate? Lance Armstrong's trying to support anti-doping in sport. That's what he would tell you. It's, it's, a, it's an inherent conflict of interest. A conflict that Tigart also faced. He told us for the first time in this interview that Armstrong tried to make a donation to the U.S. anti-doping agency in 2004. What kind of donation was he interested in making to USADA? It was a significant financial donation. Which came of, to with what? One of his representatives offers to us. It was in excess of $150,000. More like a quarter of a million dollars? It was around that ballpark. When you heard that, what did you think? I was stunned. Did you feel like you were being bought off? It was a clear conflict of interest for USADA. And we had no hesitation in rejecting that offer. Now, in a statement, his lawyer says Armstrong never made any such contribution or suggestion. And we may soon hear from Armstrong himself responding to these accusations. Oprah Winfrey says she will have an interview next week.